Hi, and welcome back to Tuntum Network. I'm Cyrus. Uh, this is a quick one I want to do based on a uh, few calls that I've received from people who watch my podcast. As a matter of fact, I didn't expect this to go around like the way it's going. And I'm so grateful to those who have subscribed and those who are yet to subscribe. I encourage you to do that because we are doing great stuff here. So I received two calls, which, well, I don't have it recorded, so I can't play it out to you guys. But two guys called me. One was talking about uh, the money he has and the age and what he can do with it. So he called me, Cyrus. I'm 40 years old. I have about $1,000 in my savings. What, what, what would you tell me to do with it? It may apply to you also, no matter where you are. It works. I've helped a lot of people doing the same thing, so you can also try it. This is the first thing I said to you. Write down 10 things. 10 things that you, you enjoy doing that makes money. Ask him to do the next one, which is now begin to cancel out the first five of those 10 that you can, you, you feel bored at, at, at times when you're doing it. So he cancels out the five, which I'm also encouraging you to do. Take a pen and a paper, write out 10 things that you want to do, okay, with, with whatever money that you may have in your hands. Now begin to cancel out, out of the 10, five of those 10 that you sometimes get bored doing it. You'll be left with five. Excellent. Now, when you get to five, this is where the tough question should be asked. What one thing out of the five can you do consistently every day without getting bored? Cancel three out of the five, which will leave you with two. Then the final question goes like, which one single thing can you do every day consistently without getting bored, even if you are not paid doing it? That is where the trick is. Even if you are not paid doing it, you have so much passion for it, so much passion that even if nobody is paying you, you still have the energy to go about doing it every day. So he had to juggle between the two, okay, which one do I do? And finally, he got to choose one of them. And now he's up to it. So I'll get back to you when he's doing well in that business, and I'll share that with you guys later on. And then the second person also called. This second person called, he said he's 25 years old. He has no money. He stays with the parents. And he's stuck. He doesn't know what he's doing with his life. He's finished, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, senior high school. And he's not going to university because he couldn't pass the SSCE. And so he feels he's stuck. What is the next thing he should do? Well, I asked him, are you a well-able person? I, uh, is every limb of your body in intact? Okay, and he said, yes. That means he's healthy. He can get to work. I said this earlier in one of my podcasts, and I'm repeating it again. This is the one easy way you can always go around and make some money to start from somewhere. It is always about the construction site that I speak about. In Accra today, there's a lot of construction going on. I drive around, I see a lot of them, and I know it works. So I told him to get himself into any of these construction sites. They are paying pretty well, which is around 120 Ghana CDs uh, per day. So I advise him to do that. He should stay on it, work, and save up money for about two weeks, and he, he should come back. We'll sit down and plan something out with it, which he has done. So this is why I'm doing the podcast with you guys. Now he has about, uh, he has done it for three weeks, so he has about 2,000 Ghana cities in his name, which is a good thing. If you have 2,000 Ghana cities or 3,000 Ghana cities like this guy who's, whom I'm talking about, even if you are a lady, it even works best for you if you are a lady. The one business you can do in Accra today that you wouldn't regret and you wouldn't lose your money is food business. People are so busy today, they don't have time to cook. People are so busy today, you know, they are, they are off the hook. They are just buying whatever they can get their hands on and moving on to the next thing. So find a niche in your area. Food business is a good deal. And 2,000 Ghana cities is not too much. So I asked him to start off with food, but this time not, not food, hard food, but liquid food. I'm talking about juice. So he's doing a particular kind of juice with a little twist to it, which makes it, you know, gives it a Jamaican name or sort of, a Caribbean name, an exotic name. And when he started off, you know, it was pretty slow and people were not responding to it. But he called me the other day and said, Cyrus, I've been able to establish my first 25 regular customers. And this is very important to you, everybody who is listening. Being able to establish regular customers is a very, very great achievement. People that you know on the average every week, they'll be buying from you at least three to four times in a week. That is good business to start with. So I'm encouraging him to go ahead with it. Eventually, he should be able to get at least 100 regular buyers, customers every day, so that you can budget in whatever he's doing. And I want to encourage everyone out there, especially for young people who are struggling, looking for jobs and cannot find, 
Okay, there's a lot of work you can do online. There are some that are legit and there are some that are totally bogus. They are fake. You, you start it, you, get, you don't get paid. You put your money into it and it's stolen. But there are some that are legit. I've encouraged a few guys to go into some of these legit websites. I don't want to put the websites here because they are not paying me to do this. But for those of you who may, you know, email me and those who have my phone number who can call me or WhatsApp me, I'll be willing to share that with you. There are certain websites that are paying $2.5 a day and you only get to work for like one minute, one minute of your time in the morning and you, do, you submit it to the company and that's it for the day. And there are others that are paying $7.5 a day. I have different types of these online businesses which I've encouraged different people to get into, which they are doing pretty well. Some are getting 300 Ghana cities a day. Some are making 1,200 Ghana cities a week and 300 Ghana cities a week. It's all good. It's better than doing nothing. Slow motion is better than no motion. I believe in that. So get yourself up. Don't think nothing is happening. Something is happening. If you don't know it, get online. Start learning new things. If you don't know what to do, send me an email. My email is down here. You can send it to me. I will see what I can do to help you. But at the end of the day, I want you to do the right thing. Because it is by only doing the right thing that you can sustain what you are doing. Anything that you are doing that is not right. Like I advised those ladies who called me the other time. One of them said to me, Cyrus, I've been in Accra for almost three months. I'm, I'm not from Accra. She's a Ghanaian though. And because she's been in Accra, she came on a wild goose chase that she was going to get something nice, a nice job to do in Accra. And she, she hasn't found any. She's into one of these online jobs and she's making decent money. You know, it has to start from somewhere. And I'm going to help guys like these, you know, until they raise about 2,000, 3,000 Ghana cities. And then they can transition into doing something else with that money. Listen, hard work pays. I encourage everybody to work hard. If you're a young man, work hard, wake up. Don't sleep too much. If you're sleeping till 6 a.m., like I said, you are wasting your life. You are wasting your time. Wake up at 4. Plan your life. You don't know what to do when you wake up at 4. Send me an email. I'll send you an itinerary that you can start following. I'm serious about this. I have all these things planned out, which I'm helping few people out there. If you don't know what to do when you wake up at 4, you are sitting there on your bed, you know, surfing on the internet, going on TikTok, wasting all that time and data, send me an email. I'll send you an itinerary. You can start from there. There's so much you can do so that your day becomes profitable. At least every day you should make a progress to see what you are doing with your life. I want to help you. And I want you to also help me by subscribing and sharing and liking and leaving a comment if you have to. This is a short one that I want to bring across and hopefully it helps somebody out there. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm Cyrus and this is Twin Tomb Network. And please subscribe and share. Thank you and God bless you. Stay alive until I come your way again. It's bye-bye for now.